Good morning uh, and uh, welcome back. We've been telling you the queues, uh, the queues are a little cautious as far as uh, the, uh, you know, the global setup is concerned, which is why the implied open is telling us that maybe we'll be uh, off to a slightly flat start. The color across most Asian screens is red uh, for the time being. But uh, we've uh, sort of, you know, uh, told you about the macros. It is time to boil this down to the micros and discuss our uh, top stock list to watch today. And we have the team standing by for that. Uh, so, Nigel, you kick it off because I guess Ambuja is going to be in focus, expecting some blocks today. Well, that's right. You know, we are at CNBC TV and the team, particularly Sudarshan and team, you know, they've been on top of this. And we were, we told you that there's a high probability, and Nimesh as well had mentioned uh, that there's a possibility that a large trade takes place in the next few days. And that's precisely what we're picking up. Now, the promoter entity of Ambuja Cements could be looking at selling closer on 2.8% odd. The total block size will be roughly around 4,200 crores and it's priced at a base price of around 600 rupees per share, which is a 5% discount. If you pull up yesterday's intraday chart as well, the stock did end a little bit uh, lower, but in the final 10 minutes, there was a big surge that we saw in the stock if you pull up the intraday chart. To give you a couple of alerts, well, the promoter entity, uh, two years ago, that's in 2022, they had taken some warrants, which they have gradually been converting. And because of this conversion, the promoter stake in the company has moved from around 63% to around 70%. So once this block gets cleared out, it'll be interesting to see the kind of appetite we see for the stock because it's a large cap name. It has its focus on cost cutting measures as well. And I believe demand is quite good as well. So expect the stock to open up in the, in the red. But from there, I think we could see some bit of buying. So let's see how that goes. But Vivek as well is joining in to tell us about Nika. Morning, Vivek. Well, good morning. You know, it's uh, another block deal uh, that we are tracking. So, Nika, we understand from our sources, you know, we accessed the term sheet last evening. Our, our pre-IPO investor, Harpinder Pal Singh, as well as the associates, are looking to sell up to 1.4% stake in the company. The floor price for this particular block deal is at 198 rupees a share. So, the size of the block at this particular floor price works out to over 800 crore rupees. Now, remember, Harpinder Singh held close to 6.4% stake uh, in the company at the end of Q1. And also, there will be a lock-in of further 45 days on sale of shares if they want to sell further. Going with the red on this particular name on the back of this particular overhang. Thank you very much for that. The stock is up 20% this year and 55% in the last one year. But over now to Vamakshi for more stocks which are in the news. Vamakshi. Well, good morning, Reema. Let me first start off with Railtel Corp. Uh, the company has received work orders worth 53 crores from Uttar Pradesh Police Recruitment and Promotion Board. So on the back of this, going with the green for this counter, Power Mac 2 is expected to open higher today and that is because the board has approved issue of bonus shares in the ratio 1 is to 1. That is one bonus share for every one share held. They've also gone ahead and fixed September 28th as the record date for entitlement of the bonus shares. PDS Limited also on our radar and that is because a QI IP opened yesterday. Uh, they've approved a floor price of 563.59 per share, which is coming in at a discount of nearly 3% to the closing price yesterday. JNK Bank also on our radar, and that is because the long term issuer rating and Basel 3 compliant tier 2 bonds rating has been upgraded from IND A plus to IND AA minus. Uh, this bodes well from a cost of funds per perspective, and that is why I'm going with the green for this counter as well. And lastly, let's focus in on Polymedicure. The company recently raised 1000 crores via QIP and the shares have been allotted to Lighthouse India uh, Fund, SBI MF, Nomura Funds as well as Quant MF among some others. So given those notable names entering uh, Polymedicure, going with the green for this counter as well. Okay, all right. Uh, Vamakshi, thanks so much. We will put all of them on our uh, list of stocks to watch. Back to Vivek. Vivek, let's talk about yesterday's star, right? Uh, what a glittering performance by Kalyan on the back of uh, the deal. So we, we have the confirmations now. Tell us more. Hey, well, absolutely right. You know, what a strong move uh, Kalyan Jewelers saw yesterday. Uh, so let's just break down, you know, the uh, the deal itself. Uh, number one, Heidel Investments, Warburg Pinkett, so now, which held close to 9.17% stake at the end of Q1, has gone ahead and expressed its intent to sell the entire stake. In yesterday's block deal data, you actually saw a little over 7% stake getting exited. So now what, you know, the uh, uh, official ex uh, notification has come to the exchange is that the promoter group will be picking up close to 2.36% stake from Warburg Pincus at 535 rupees a share. And it, this particular deal is expected to close soon. In yesterday's block data, the 7% stake was sold at 539 rupees a share. And amongst the top buyers yesterday, you saw HLBC Mutual Fund, you saw Invesco Mutual Fund, Motila Loswal Fund, as well as Sundaram Mutual Fund. So expect the up move to continue because there's a clean out trade from a pre investor which was the overhang on the stock okay at a time when we've only seen promoters and p promoters sell stake uh, in um, 
the listed universe. In fact, so far this year, promoters have sold 1 lakh crore rupees, according to data, which has been compiled by one of the pink papers. Uh, it's good to see that promoters of Kalyan Jewelers have gone out there and purchased stake in the company. But uh, let's get to some more stocks uh, that we are tracking. Vivek, it's still with you for Eris Life and PNB Housing. Well, uh, you know, more block deals that we saw in yesterday's trading session. Uh, first on our list is Eris Life Sciences. So even here, you know, private equity investor Chris Capital, uh, which held stake in the company under Emerald Investment, sold the entire 7.2% stake yesterday at uh, 1,201 rupees a share. The good part is, you know, Infinity Partners picked up the entire stake in yesterday's block deal. The other stock on the radar is PNB Housing. Remember, even day for yesterday, you saw a very large block deal where General Atlantic P uh, sold close to 5.13% stake. Uh, so they exited completely yesterday Asia Investments Fund Mauritius they sold a total a 3% out of the total 5.19% stake that they held in the company amongst the top buyers was government of Singapore they picked up 0.6% stake now uh, the other names are not yet disclosed but on the back of this you know given the fact that they continue to hold some stake going with a red because there is a slight overhang on further sale of shares Okay, all right, Vivek, thanks so much. So let's quickly recap our list of stocks to watch today. The ones that have positive news around them are Railtel, Powermec, PDS Limited, Jammu and Kashmir Bank, Poly, Medicure, uh, Aries Life Sciences and Kalyan Jewelers. The ones that have negative news flow around them are Ambuja Cements, Nika and PNB Housing Finance.